Hello, and welcome to the application delivery how-to series. My name is Trevor Spires, and today we're gonna take a look at how to configure advanced load balancing on Azure Cloud with Avi. Uh, so quickly, I I've got a lab set up where I'll show you a, a little bit of what I've done, uh, but I've got a document linked here with all of the appropriate prerequisites to setting this up for yourself. So you can follow along with me at a high level, but if you wanna dig into the more Azure specific details of things that'll be required, I highly recommend you follow the, the, this document. So uh, if you're not familiar with how Avi works, uh, fundamental to the value that we're able to deliver is integration with the infrastructure provider that the load balancer is deployed on top of. So with, with Azure specifically, what we do is we plug the Avi controller into the Azure API so that controller can start to manage and automate and manipulate some of those Azure constructs so that way it's easier for you to just simply configure a virtual service or configure a VIP while things like DNS and auto scaling with, with things like scale sets or IP address management, IAM, related to uh, these kind of Azure specific constructs are abstracted away and automated uh, by the Avi controller on your behalf. This makes it so that when a user logs into Avi, it's a really consistent experience across many different cloud providers. So you don't have to learn each individual provider implementation of networking just to get a load balancer up and running. So now we are looking at my Avi controller. Uh, briefly, I'd just like to show you what I have configured as my Azure cloud connector, okay? Uh, you'll connect Avi into whatever regions that you would like it to manage within Azure. I've given it my subscription and as, as well as um, some credentials that I've created for this application. There are a few different ways to do this. I would reference the documentation to find which way works best for you in your environment. Uh, after you plug in uh, the credentials to give Avi access to your Azure region, uh, you also do things like specify which VNets you would like them to use, uh, what is the default service engine network, uh, you'll name the region, and then uh, very importantly in Azure, you need to assign a resource group because in Azure, pretty much every resource you create must be assigned to a resource group. So Avi must know as it's automating these different things like load balancers and networks and DNS records, what resource group that's gonna be a part of. Uh, that's really it when it comes to the configuration. Once you get the authentication working with the appropriate roles and permissions, you can move over to the applications tab. I have a test application configured where uh, I'm serving traffic to the internet uh, through a scale set. I'll go ahead and create a new one so you can see how that works. I'll go ahead and create a virtual service in Avi. And uh, just like I would on any other cloud provider, I'm gonna do uh, the basics, I'll give it a name. Uh, and I just get this simple drop down to decide which network that I would like to deploy this on. I could even deploy it on additional networks if I would like to, this to be more highly available. For me, I'm gonna keep it simple. I am gonna assign a public IP address just so I can show you the access in a demo very easily. And this is where I would also set other flags, like if I wanted this to be uh, HTTP versus HTTPS uh, or any other sort of application specific settings that you might need for your given virtual service or app. Now, my back end pool here is actually a scale set in Azure. So I'm able to tie a pool uh, to a VIP based on that Azure scale set. So as servers are added and removed by the uh, automation that's built into Azure, Avi will be updated and begin load balancing traffic to those servers. Pretty cool. So we can scale the Avi side of the solution with Avi's auto scaling, but also we can react to Azure automatically scaling your servers out for you. Uh, I can go through the normal setup process here. I'm just gonna work through the wizard so this will start creating. Uh, so we'll give this just one moment. Very good, so now my VIP is creating, right? And what you're gonna see is uh, in, at, as soon as it's created, I mentioned that API integration of the controller. The controller is gonna be communicating with the Azure API to send out uh, instructions that are required to get this service up and running. I've got an existing service available here, so I'll just show you that application in action. I've got, got an IP and an FQDN. I'll just go ahead and uh, show you a tab to that IP. This is the Nginx uh, server managed by Bitnami uh, image that I've got inside of that scale set within Azure. And pretty much all of this, uh, other than creating the, the server in Azure uh, from the VIP to the networking has been fully automated by Avi. I simply went in, decided which network that I would like to put the load balancer on top of, next, next finish to the wizard. And now I've got myself an application available 
through a scalable uh, public IP. Now this can be done with private IPs as well. Uh, I've just used a public IB because it's easier to, to show. Please check out the other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to series. Thanks for watching.